Grace Luanga channel for free meteorology and navigation instruments lessons. Welcome, welcome viewers to lesson one of Airplane Navigation Instruments, a program run by Grace Luanga YouTube channel. I'm happy and honored to make this presentation to you and wish you to listen as we go through together this subtopic called Convergence and Departure. Grace Ranga, for those watching me for the first time, my name is Grace Ranga. I am a former ground school navigation instructor at Soroti Flying School in Uganda. And I am also a former meteorological technician at Namibia Meteorological Services, Vinduk. author. I am now the author of a book entitled Meteorology for Airplane Navigation Instruments. Navigation Instruments is a standard CAA Grand Schools for Pilots Examination paper in the Commonwealth countries. Introduction Convergence and departure is one of the most fascinating subtopic and navigation instruments topic because it makes you feel competent in three dimension model exercises and mathematical calculations. And of course, if you know calculations, you can also do navigation plotting topic. Therefore, I believe that this lesson one will be beneficial to all of us. Objectives of the lesson. By the end of the lesson one, the viewer should be able to convert the airplane headings to grid circle directions, convert the Rembrandt distances to grid circle distances, define what a convergence is, define what a departure is, define what a Rembrandt track is, 
and define what a grid circuit track is. Definitions We will begin by defining conversion angle, departure, convergence, rumbling track, and grid circuit track. Details of the definitions Conversion angle is equal to half times the long sine phi. The symbol phi represents mean latitude and the long represents the change in longitude on a chart. Departure is equal to 60 times the long cos phi. The phi represents mean latitude and the long represents the change in longitude on a chart. Definition of convergence. Convergence is the Earth's latitudinal focusing of longitudes to the poles. From the property of convergence, a new mathematical function called the conversion angle is based. Definition of departure Departure is a mathematical function for the distance traveled by the airplane on a great circle track. It is shorter compared to other track distances. Definition of ROM line A ROM line is the straight line drawn on the navigation chart to represent a track. It is always nearer to the equator than the grid circle. Definition of grid circle track A grid circle track is the shortest distance between any two points on the chart. It is therefore fuel efficient. Unlike ground line track, it is represented on the chart as a curve between two meridians bending polewards. Applications of convergence and departure. Now, what are the areas that can be tested under the lesson objectives? Okay, one of the areas is flight along the equator. In terms of meteorology, such a flight is called tropics transport. Another one is a flight from the equator to the North Pole or South Pole. In terms of meteorology, such a flight is called meridional transport. The last but not least important area 
of the lesson objectives is the navigation properties of the DJI. In tra Tropics Transport, the convergence function, a half the long sci-fi, becomes zero. So all ramp line headings become great circle directions. Similarly, the departure function, the long cost phi becomes the long times one. So all ramp line distances become great circle distances. In Mediano transport, the convergence function, a half the long sine phi, and the departure function, the long cost phi, are together consisting of three independent variables, the long sine phi and cos phi. In order to manage such a case, the examiner chooses two variables to be assumed constants, as the case might determine. When you engage the DJI during flight, then the airplane will follow the great circle track. However, the DJI will be discussed in another lesson. Problem solution. The following ATP question was set by CAA and it is available in a book Meteorology for Airplane Navigation Instruments by Grace Wanga. <coughs> Problem solution. The latitude controller of a remote reading camper system corrects for drift due to earth rotation without affecting random drift of the gyro itself. On the ground at London, 51 degrees 10 minutes north, 0 degrees 10 minutes west, with the latitude controller set for 45 degrees north, the gyro readings are observed to decrease at a rate of 4 deg degrees per hour. Hey, what is the hourly random drift rate? Later, the aircraft leaves London for a six-hour flight to New York, 40 degrees, 40 minutes north, 73 degrees, 46 west, on the direct long line track. The gyro indicator is set to the required true heading on departure, but heading is subsequently maintained without reference to this instrument. Assuming that the latitude controller setting is unaltered and the drift rate found in A is due to random drift and remains unchanged, determine whether the gyro indicator reading on arrival at New York will be greater or less than the heading and calculate the appropriate value of the difference. God bless you. Viewers, because of time, as I always tell you, Rome was not built in a day. We may have the solution to this problem in another session. Meanwhile, if you have any message, you can send it to me on email or SMS. I'm always available 24-7. Watch me later and benefit more. As I look forward to meeting you, I beg to stop here. Thank you very much for watching me. And God bless you.